Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dash o Rose here. I'm back with more videos. And you might be looking at the thumbnail here and seeing that it's a little bit different. Well, that's because I I, I now I now know how, how to like copy the I now know how to copy the the photos to, to, to the camera now. But I have to take a picture of them on the screen. Now, unfortunately, it still doesn't look great because you know the the top of the phone where all where the timer and stuff is at is still on there. But uh, otherwise, the th otherwise the thumb the thumbnail um looks a lot better. Like you can't see the background of my wall now. It looks better. I'm working on improving it. I really am, and um, you can also see here that I have the fun, the fun fact, the fun fact, and the release date on this now too. So I have that too. So I have the fun fact and the release date on this movie, and then I have, and I also have the um, the five out of thirteen. I'll I'll get, I'll get into that that when I get into the movie. Um. Um, but I don't know, I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I figured this out, like, someone helped me, I think it was Mama or Daddy helped me look this out yesterday, we were at Fuji, uh, visiting each other, uh, Fuji, they got really good food, they really do, um, but yeah, I was eating food at Fuji and stuff, and yeah, um, they showed me how to do it, it's, it's, it's pretty complicated, I didn't know you had to push, push a but a button, like, two buttons to, like the off button and the volume button at the same time to do that. That is so complicated. I'm like, like how the heck, how the heck is anyone supposed to figure that out? Um, I don't know, but they, they apparently they knew how to do it, so they showed me how to do it, and um, yeah. Anywho, let's let's get into the movie, um, shall we? Ice Age Three. Dawn of the Dinosaurs, the third Ice Age movie in the series, and there, you know, there there are so many dinosaur. There were so many dinosaurs at one point in time, but of course, a meteor, as they say, uh, wiped out the dinosaurs. But back then, there there were there were many different types of dinosaurs. There were T. Rexes, Brontosauruses. There there were. There were many different types. They're very long names and confusing names, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I'm not sure why, di why, why scientists think, like, why scientists, you know, decide to give dinosaurs long names for, but they do. Anywho. Anywho, let, let's, let's talk, let's talk about, let's talk about, um, about about this the this this movie here um yeah this movie I gotta say I think it's definitely an improvement it, it, it's an improvement over o over the um the, the the second movie though it's definitely an improvement over the second movie the the second the second movie um had, had was kind of just frustrating and all that and. The third movie is definitely an, an, an improvement over it, um, but but is it? But does it deserve to does it deserve to be to be made, or was it meant to go extinct? That is. Well, I, well, I gotta say though, it it's definitely real. It's a really good movie. I gotta say, I gotta say, it definitely deserves to live. I, I'm gonna say here too that this is sadly probably the last Ice Age project that was actually good that, that was released. And this movie is much better than the Avengers of Buck Wild. Now I have I still have not seen the entire movie, but I've seen a reaction to that movie, and my god, it is awful looking. It is terrible looking. This movie definitely looks a lot better and stuff and all that. I mean, I, I could I could watch it down the road, but that means I have to go on Disney Plus to watch it. And I don't really want to watch it. 
I don't feel like I have anything to really add to the movie that other people haven't really added, so I don't know. I mean, I, I guess if I wanted to do, do something where I can re rewrite, like how I would re rewrite the story of a, of a bad movie, maybe I can do that, but I, I, don't, I don't know, though. But yeah, but yeah, this movie is so much better. Um, it, it's not great. It's not great. There are problems with the movie. There are, but it's much better than the second one, and way better than, than *Adventures of Buck Wild*. That's for sure. And I haven't really seen the entire movie of *Adventures of Buck Wild*, but what I've seen of it, it's really bad. And and that's like like fifth like fifty minutes of of the movie were shown on the reaction. So yeah. And I actually finally found someone who actually liked the movie, um, watching, you know, I, I found someone who actually liked the, the Adventures of Buck Wild by wa watching, you know, that, which is okay, they can like it, I don't care. But that, that just says something that took forever for someone to like it. This movie, though, this movie, um, here's the thing with this movie, though, it's, um, now, unlike Adventures of Buck Wild, where everyone hates it except that one person, which again, I'm fine with, that's their opinion, that's, that, that, if they like it, that's fine. Um, but, but like, here's the thing with this movie, though. This movie is actually kind of split. Some, some people, some people think, well, it's not split as you would think. Some people don't, don't think it's as good as, like, Ice Age 1, while others I think it's it's better than Ice Age One, but for me, I don't think it's as good as Ice Age One. The, the the biggest the biggest thing with this movie though that makes it you know good is Buck Wild himself. He's he's the best part of this movie. He is, and they do they do fix they do fix Crash and Eddie and Ellie. They make them more likable characters. I really like Crash and Eddie in this movie. They're much better than they were. Instead of them picking on freaking Diego and Sid, like they like they were in the, the, the second film, they're much better here. They are. They're much better here. Um. But yeah. But they're much better though. And um. And yeah, they're much better. And um. And you know, the, a lot of the characters are really likable. All but one. One one character though is is not 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 very um he's not very um likable in this movie and that's Manny. Manny they kind they kind of dumbed down his character but they kind of dumbed him down. They made him kind of more stupid. They didn't make him dumb dumb like Sid, but they kind of dumbed him down a little bit. Like there's some stuff in this movie he does that it doesn't feel like he would have done in the first two movies. Like. Like, like you got you got you got like one one, se one segment on the movie where he's like he's he's like I got like got guys don't talk about guy problems they just punch him on the tr the and the on the shoulder and stuff and uh, and Ellie's like that's stupid and I agree with Ellie that's just stupid but th it doesn't feel like Manny would have said something like that in the first two movies and another another thing they kind they kind of do too is they make him like. They make him pick, pick a, a a peach off of the, even though Diego said he not not to. I feel it's kind of out of character for him. I but yeah, they 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 really dumbed down his character. I feel like well, they didn't really dumb it. They dumbed it down a little bit, but yeah, they also made they also made him more of an asshole. Honestly, they made him an asshole in this movie too. Basically, the whole whole reason why Sid. You know, like Sid, you know, like the reason why you know Sid, you know, like, like you know, got got like you know, kept the eggs and stuff. And I mean, I guess to be fair, hit Earth, he didn't keep the eggs and he took them back. Basically, you know, if he took them back, then you know, like that, then we wouldn't have the the other world to explore, and we wouldn't have met the character Buck Wild. But my problem is, is like he he says that, that Sid is not meant to be a parent, and then he basically sh sheds on Sid and all that. And I, I know he's done. 
I know he's done that in the in the past, but he was more grumpy. And then like the first movie, yeah, he kind of was shitting on Sid there, but that 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 was that was more because you know he Sid was kind of annoying in that movie. Sid all all Sid wants is to have a family, and then Manny's going, Manny's going and like. But man, he's going and like treating him like shit and like t telling him that he's not meant to be a parent, which, 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 which drag, what, 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 it makes him go and, um, go and like keep the eggs and then the dinosaurs hatch and, you know, cre creates that segment. And then like, and then like later, like when they meet Buck Wild, man, he's kind of treating Buck kind of like shit too. And, and all that, he's just, he's just kind of, he's kind of being rude, and, he, and at one point, Ellie shuts him up, and I'm like, yeah, shut him up, he, he, he's, he doesn't need to be, like, I mean, Buck's trying to tell a story here, and then, like, I mean, even if it's fake or something, I mean, you, you, you can't, you can't just, you can't just treat your friends like that. But honestly, I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I don't remember all, all the times, that's just examples of, uh, Manny, you know, his character development kind of sank in this in this movie compared to the first two movies. But all the other characters are really likable. And for some reason, here's the funny thing: Crash and Eddie and Diego were kind of absent in a big chunk of the beginning of the movie. Like Cra Crash and Eddie were like at the beginning of the movie with Manny running around and trying to because Manny mistaked. Manny mistaked, you know, Ellie get, getting, giving birth and, giving birth and, you know, well, that, that, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. I'm, I'll talk about that in a second. I forgot to mention that, yeah, M Manny's like, like wanting to call his kid little Ellie. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't seem like what Manny would do, you know, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, but, but yes, basically he says that when they actually give birth, but that's later down in the movie. But yeah, Crash, Crash, and Eddie though are like are in the spe they have speaking roles at the very start of the movie. You know, after we go through that scratch segment, which I'll get to in a second. But um, but but yeah, but basically yeah, they they speak, they speak in this movie. You know, at the very beginning, of speaking roles, and then they they disappear. They literally just disappear. Like they disappear, and I don't. I don't think they show up. They don't show up until like the playground segment where the dinosaurs, you know, come. And then Diego, for some reason, Diego decides to. Um, he wants to leave his herd because he can't catch a catch a um, you know a, a deer or something. I think he's a deer. I don't remember what he was—a bison or a deer. I'm not sure. And, and I'm and I'm like I don't like okay I mean it, I don't, it ain't really clear why he wants to leave the herd I'm, I'm not I mean they did st state that he wanted to leave it because he didn't want to because Manny's changed or something but I I don't really I don't know I I don't really get why he wanted to leave the herd he just wanted to leave just because I mean and it doesn't matter because then he shows back up. And the, the, the lost world, he shows back up there, and I'm just like, well, what's the point of all of that? I don't know, I'm just, I don't get it. I'm just like, I don't get it at all, right? Why they even needed to do that. But yeah, there are some problems in this movie. But again, Buck, Buck Wild is definitely the, the, the highlight of the movie. Yeah, he's definitely the highlight, though. But I, I but I don't know though. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, I'm just I don't know though. But, but um, yeah, there's a lot. There are a lot of lot of you know good stuff in the movie, like a lot of adult jokes. Yeah, I was I was looking at my paper, tr trying to trying to figure out kind of some stuff here, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, trying to, because I think I kind of wrote some of this stuff kind of fast and realized I spelled some of it wrong. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm new at this. I'm new at, like, writing stuff down, so I don't know. It'll take time to get used to hoping to improve my spelling and all that. 
But but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, there, there are a lot of adult jokes. There's one segment, this is really funny, but there's one segment where like Sid is like trying to milk a, a yak or something, a prehistoric yak. And uh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but it's pretty funny. Um, it actually confused me. I'm like, like, like wait a minute, did, did, he, did he get did he do the peck thing where he went through for the pecks of the act? You know, because you know, males have pecks, you know, while, while females have breasts. Or, or did he go for the, I, I think what the writers were trying to do, they were trying to, they were trying to go for the, the, um, you know, below far, you know what men have, you know, the below, the below, the below, you know, part. I'm not going to go into too much detail there, but it, it's a pretty funny joke. It really is. Kids aren't going to get the joke, but adults will. But also, here's the thing too. Um, I finally figured out what number one said on my list. I forgot, forgot what it, what it said, but now I remember. When I was looking for this movie on DVD, on Blu-ray, I, I found this one right off the bat. Like, I, it took me only a second to find it. Which is a new record, and probably the fastest I'll ever find my movies, because I got so many of them. But I literally found it in a, in a second. I know it's kind of funny, I'm just bringing that up, but it's true. I, I found that one by, like, really fast. I, I don't even think it was a second, because as soon as I looked, looked at the Blu-rays, the Blu-rays on the shelf, I found it right, right in front of my eyes when I was going to look for it. It was literally right in my, my front of my eyes when I was going to look up there. So I found it really fast. I didn't have to scroll or anything. I found it, which is really funny. But yeah, but yeah, there, 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 yeah, there, there's a lot of good stuff in this movie, but there's also a lot of stuff I don't like. Like, like I said, me. Manny's kind of, Manny's kind of frustrating, a frustrating character. He's kind of frustrating. And, you know, like, and then, like, you know, again, like, Diego leaving through the, through the beginning of the movie felt pointless. Like I said, it felt pointless. But, yeah, there, there are, there are, there's a lot of stuff, though, in this movie, though. They were also... They, they were they were also um they also in the, the lost world when they got got to the lost world they, which took took the mo it took the movie about well it took the, the movie about like I think 20 or 30 minutes to get to the lost world but um but they apparently they encounter a, a stegosaurus I think it's a stegosaurus it looks like one because I think stegosauruses have have um you know have those um ball those spiky ball tails. I thought those were per, pl those were plant eaters, but I guess not. I don't know. I thought like that was really funny. And then like one segment where they were like in the top the toxic um, maze or, or whatever that was. Crash and Eddie sing the Alvin and the Chipmunk song. You know they sing the Alvin and the Chipmunk song, and uh, and that, that's that's. That's pretty, you know, I guess. It's not really funny. I mean, that, that's that segment they were trying to be funny, but it just it didn't feel very funny. It just it was just a bunch of stupid jokes about crashing Eddie wetting the bed and then like and, and then like I mean it was kind of funny in the first, the second film when they mentioned it, but I'm like it just feels out of nowhere there and then like I mean again it's the toxic maze. It's it's basically messing with their their brains and making them laugh and high pitched voices and I mean I, I get they're gonna talk stupid but I, I don't know it just it just seemed kind of funny and it seemed kind of stupid and stuff. Also, also um um th this this movie also has um a, another war another fall on it. This time it's a lava fall. So this is the third Ice Age movie in a in a row. To, to have, well, there's only three Ice Age movies at this point, but, you know, to have, to have a, a waterfall-like setting. The first film had, had a, wa had a waterfall that, that, like, that, that came down from rocks above. Like, you know, at the segment where, like, 
where, 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 like the humans were at and stuff, and then that, that woman jumped off of it. And then there's this, the second one had a, a waterfall or a glacier. The glacier w was bursting and all that, and the chunks of ice were falling off of it. That was a waterfall. And then the third movie has a, a segment where Sid is about to fall, and it shows a, a lava, a lava, a lava fall. That was actually their, their, their destiny um, of the movie was to go to the lava falls. So it's really funny how, I don't think the writers were intending to that, but that's really funny. It's funny that they're, that they, that they're doing that. I, I find that really funny how all three Ice Age movies had a, a, a waterfall or, or something like that. Uh, also, um, Rudy, Rudy is a, um, a, um, a, Bar Barney Ox, or whatever, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's like, Barney Ox, I don't remember, I don't know how to pronounce that, again, dinosaur names are hard to pronounce, but, he's basically, I, I used to think he was a duck-billed dinosaur, because I watched Go Diego Go, you know, and all that, when I was younger. Yeah, I, I still watch, I, I think still think Go Diego Go is a good show, I mean. I mean, I wasn't really little, I was, I was much older when, when I, when I, when I watched, uh, when, I, when I compared the differences, but I still watched, you know, Go Diego Go, you know, because it was on, on my, it was on and all that, you know, I don't know, but. I found that pretty funny, though. But yeah, that, that, that's how what it's called. That's what he's called, I think. I don't think Google even knew what he was called, though. But I'm just gonna go with that, whatever that word was. But bony, bony ox. I mean, I, I don't know, though. Um. But but yeah, but yeah, this movie's got a lot of a lot of neat details in it, and. It's pretty, it's pretty good, honestly. Um, but yeah, I, I figured I, now that I got all, all the stuff I wanted to, t to point out in the movie, wait, let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's actually talk about the movie. I've already talked about it a little bit, about the beginning and stuff, about, you know, Diego and Manny and all that. And But wait, let's, let's talk about some, st some stuff I actually like, like really, really like about the movie. Again, I said Buck Wild was my favorite part of the movie. And... I especially like his backstory, and that's the part where like Manny, you know, is, confuses it as a as a you know phony story. I mean, I get Buck's kind of a crazy character, but I, I still think it's kind of rude that Manny would like accuse his story of being you know fake or something. But I, I don't know though. Um, I don't really know. But yeah, I don't, I don't know though. But yeah, this, but yeah, I, I do, I, I do, I do really, I do really, really like his, um, I do really like his backstory though. I do really, really like it. Because basically we, we learn, we learn about his, um, about how he got his eye patch and all that, which is pretty cool. Be nice if we learned why he was down there in the first place, because we never really figured that out. We never really know. We never really know why why he's why he's down there. We just the movie just doesn't really explain that. That's something Avengers of Buck Wild should have done, but but they didn't really do that. They just they they just throwed random stuff in the movie. I hear. Yeah, I don't know though. Yeah, I, I don't know though, but but yeah, it's it's. But I, I I still I still think you know it's it's a pretty good story. Like I I do like I think it's one of the best. It's actually the best part of the movie. I, I like how how like like they they say he survived by um he survived by um. By, you know, like, swinging on Rudy's, like, gunky thing on the back of his throat, which is gross. I, I agree with Crash Annie, it's gross, but it's still, it's still pretty cool. But 
But yeah, it's still it's still pretty cool though. But um. But but yeah, but but yeah, I, th I think that's probably the, the one of the best parts of the movie. Again, but Buck Wall is again the best part of the movie. I like he is funny. He really is funny. And, and this, this is before too, like you know they they also before they dumbed down Crash and Eddie's character and stuff. And, and I, I still I don't I still wouldn't say they're they're probably the the least. I mean I don't know if I would consider them. The, because even in the fourth movie, they're not—they're not really on screen too much. So, so I—I I, don't—I don't know if you would—I I don't know if we would really consider them to be the worst. But I, I still think them getting dumbed down was kind of stupid because there's not really any jokes you can tell of them. But I—I I, I don't know. I—I I think this movie though has got a lot—a lot of. It's it's got a, a lot lot of you know good stuff to it. I I really do do think there's a lot of lot of great stuff in this movie though. Now I don't I don't I don't think there I don't think the 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 atmosphere is as good as Ice Age World. That's what's kind of funny with me honestly. Like I tend to go kind of back and forth with that. Like I think Scooby Doo in the Cyber Chase like the 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 best the best level is the dinosaur world. Um. Because, because you know, I, I think the dinosaur world looks really good and colorful, but, but here I, but, but here um I, but here I think um, but here though I think you know the, the um like, I don't I think the Ice Age world's better, so I think the second movie ha has a has a better you know a, it has a better um you know, atmosphere it has a. I feel like their 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 goal is better. Like they're trying to get to the boat and all that. But I, I think overall, I think that the characters are better here. And in a way, I think this film is much better than the. It's much better than the um. Than than the, the second films, you know, like like characters and stuff. But but I I should probably also talk talk about you know the the scratch segments because why not? They're 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 the highlight of the movie. The, the, the highlight of the movie and stuff, you know, and and I figured I should talk about the scratch segments. And the scratch segments are actually not as good as they are they were on the first two films. They're they're, they're really not. I don't think they're as good as they were on the first two films. Now to be fair here, in the first film, Scratch didn't have too many segments with them, but. But I think like you know him you know turning his pop his ac acorn into popcorn was funny and then the segment at the beginning and the end were really funny. But like but like the 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 second one had you know him trying to get his acorn back and here he's just they pair him up with a love a love interest. Now they don't they don't keep they don't keep um his love interest they don't keep it. Which is good. I'm glad. I'm glad they didn't freaking pair him up with it. Because sometimes cartoons do that. And movies do that. They like... Cartoon shows and movies like to pair up with people with, with toxic relationships. Because they think it's funny. I'm so glad they didn't do that here. However, however, here's the thing. Um, the freaking Scr Scrap loses his acorn again in this movie. But this is probably the, the worst... The worst movie he loses his acorn in. It's the absolute worst. You may be wondering, like, why is it the worst? Because didn't Scrat lose his acorn in all the films? Yes, yes he did. He did lose his acorn in the other films. The reason why this one is the worst is because this one, unlike the other ones, ha has the Scrat, the Scrat Ed segments, you know, where he's with Scrat Ed and all that, and I, I, I'm rooting for this bitch to freaking lose because she freaking like, because she like you know treats Scrat like crap all the time, and I'm I want her to lose. And then they get they give her the acorn. I think they reward her for being a freaking bitch to Scrat. I mean, it's funny when he ditches Scrat at for the acorn, but it's not funny when he loses it and she gets it. I think I think what they should have done is like. I mean, I don't think Scratch should lose his acorn at all, but at this point, because it's like the third movie. But I think at least if they're going to make him lose his acorn, 
they should make it where, where, where she doesn't get it back either. It, 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 and it, and it fall and it falls off like maybe it falls off like it, or maybe maybe it falls off you know a cliff or something or something like they like in the 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 other world instead of you know scrap at getting the freaking acorn because that pisses me off because I'm like she doesn't deserve the acorn she freaking tr treated scrap like crap she doesn't freaking deserve it and yeah scrap did technically take the acorn he did take the acorn from her, he did do that he, at the beginning. But I mean, but but the fact the fact that she go she goes all she goes all through this trouble to like she makes him fall fall to his doom because she she tricks him to think thinking you know I mean yes, Krat technically not knocked her off the cliff, but he did it by accident. He knocked her off the cliff by accident, and what did she do? She freaking. She freaking just d ditches him and, and makes him fall to his doom, which of course Scrat can't die, but still it's just it's frustrating. And then one segment she rips the acorn off his chest. And then, then another segment she like makes him push a, a rock couch. So it's it's pre it's pretty frustrating how how like she gets the acorn at the end and then Scrat doesn't get it. And it, it's just it doesn't work real well. And I get the writers, and some people might think, you know, this is funny, but I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all for Scrat to lose his acorn and the other squirrel to get it because she treated him like crap. It, it, it's, it's like, like, let's, let's say here, like, it's, it's like if, like, I don't know, like, I, like, I, I steal something from someone's house. I steal, I treat them like crap. I, well, I treat them like crap, and 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 steal their their crap and all that, and and like someone tries to you know sue me in a lawsuit or something, and then they they and they get the and they, and they and they they um they get to win at the end. I mean, I get to win at the end, and they don't get their stuff back. It's kind of like how that works. Basically, scrap scrap, you know. Scrat, you know, loses his acorn. He loses his acorn to like. To scrat at, and she gets she gets what she she get she she gets away with it. It, it doesn't work like that. This doesn't. And it's frustrating. I know it's like at the end of the movie, but it's just frustrating. And I, I, I I'm thinking that these scrat segments are actually the worst too of the five. Now I could I could be wrong. I say collision courts could have worse segments, but what I've seen of it, it's still better better. It, it just looks like it rips off Ice Age 4, but the, the segments that are still, still look much better. They look much better than, you know, like, than what happens here. It's just, I mean, I am, I am glad, glad they, that they, they, they don't, you know, I am glad that they don't, you know, like, pair them up at the end. Because I know sometimes they do that in movies, because they think toxic relationships are funny in cartoons. But, but I, don't, I don't know though. But don't don't worry either. Um, Scrat does finally get his acorn. Um, for Blue Skies, um, last last you know project. Well, they they made a short on YouTube where Scrat finally gets his acorn. They finally give him his acorn. Um, now I should probably talk about the acorn too, real quick. Actually, the the acorn on in this movie. This is where it's confusing. The acorn in this movie it, like acts like it has feelings for Scrat because um in the segment where he's like he's hanging out with this he's on a honeymoon with this um other squirrel you know that Scrat at but but he's he's on he's on a honeymoon with her and then like you can see this the the acorn looks like like they they give him like a they give the acorn like a a water tear, and then they make it crack like like a heartbroken. So it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think this, the acorn's alive. I don't really know. I don't know what the joke is here, but it's pretty funny though. And, and then see, that's like the only thick booby they do that with. The other ones they don't do that. So I I, I don't know. I, I I think it's just a one-time thing. I think Scrat just Scrat mainly wants to store his nut so he can eat it.
But but I, I don't I don't know though. Um I really don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Um but I, I don't know, there's not really a lot else to talk about. I guess I could point out real quick the the um, the, the, the the number slash number thing. That, that five slash thirteen that that me that's telling me how many movies are out of what I have left. So you guys can see I'm on my fifth the fifth blue sky film. That's what I'm on. So you guys know that, so you guys um, you know can see can see what numbered movie I'm on. So it's kind of like what Pie Guy does. Now I'm not sure if I'll do this with Pixar or DreamWorks because um because they're they're constantly releasing new films. I I could I could I could do it. I could end up you know re reviewing you know that and doing that because. That that way I can you know um, well that well I I can do that probably the thing is I have to like edit I don't know if I'll do it or not I might just I'm I mean I'm doing it with this because there's only 13 Blue Sky films at least animation wise I think there was one where I had a crossover with Angry Birds but I don't know but that there are other films for Blue Sky but for animation wise yeah this is the only one. I, I I will think about it. Anywho, um, I don't know if there's really anything else to talk about. I guess I could talk about the fun fact, because on the three D the three D version of this film, if you if you watch it, it has a different intro. It has a a like more Ice Age intro, which is really odd. I'm not sure why why they didn't do it with with, with the other films too. With the I mean with the other like versions of the film, but it's pretty, pretty nice to see it. an Ice Age version with the, the, the pine trees and all that in the background, but you have to have the 3D version of that, I think, to see that, so I don't know. Anywho, I'm gonna let this go, see you guys later, uh, oh, oh, wait, real quick, I forgot to, one more thing, I have to give this a score, I don't know how I forgot about that. Sorry, um, sorry, there's just a lot to talk about. I'm sorry, I, I forgot about this. Um, but for score, for score wise, um, what kind of score will I give this film? Well, well, the, well, this film is better than the second one, but I don't think it's as good as the first film. I don't think it's as good as the first film, and there are problems with this, but I do really like Buck and Wild. I think I'm gonna give this, give this film, I'm gonna be giving it, um, 93 points. Yeah, 93 points. The reason why I'm giving it 93 points is because Manny's Manny is kind of unlikable in this movie, and and yeah, he does learn his lesson. He does. I feel like it's more forgiving than Ellie and Crash and Eddie in the second movie, because at least at least he kind of learns his lesson a little bit. And and, and then like and then like in the whole scratch segment, it's it's really it's. It's probably my least favorite throughout the movies. It's just my least favorite. But yeah, it's, it's my least favorite out, out, out of all five films. Maybe maybe five. I don't. I, I have to see the fifth movie again to, to, to determine. But so far, because I've I've seen the the Collision Course um not too long ago. I seen it about a, I think a year or two ago. So I remember the, the segments there. But, but I, I don't I don't know though. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the, that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys later for more reviews. Sorry, I, I almost forgot to add that. I really did. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, when you have to talk a lot about, about a lot of stuff, it happens. Anywho, see you guys later. Anywho, Dash Show Robes out.